when he was a graduate student in the 60s, he did uh, experiments on what they call split-brain patients. These are people who have intractable epilepsy for which one of the cures is to surgically um, cut the corpus callosum. The corpus callosum is about three million uh, nerve fibers that collect, connect the cer cerebral hemispheres. And what he found out is that he was able to examine each side of the brain separately. And what he found out is that the left side of the cere cerebral cortex is the part of the brain which he calls it the interpreter. It's the intelligent part of the brain. It's the part of the brain that can connect things on the basis of sequence, it can connect things on the basis of similarity, cause and effect, uh, of, of uh, c contingency in time and space. It's, it's the smart part of the brain. The right, the right hemisphere, although it's gotten a lot of, uh, it's been touted a lot in psychoanalytic circles, is not very bright. It's very important, it's, but it's not very bright. Now, one of the things that he describes in some wonderful experiments, they're, so, they're actually kind of fun and funny, but one of the things he describes is that the left hemisphere comes to conclusions on the basis of knowledge that it has, information that it has. And it's also rather overconfident, because if you gave me a bit of information to my left hemisphere and, I, and it came to a conclusion, it would never occur to it that it's wrong. It, would never, it doesn't question itself. It just thinks, well, that's the way it is. I figured it out. And sometimes when it can't figure something else, out there, just ah, stop thinking about it, it's stupid. So the left hemisphere is very satisfied with itself. 